All right, well, hey there, everybody. This is David from Better Bee, and I want to show you just how much I like you guys and like teaching you about how to keep your bees safe and healthy. So this is a nuke box of mine. It had uh, a, some frames of comb in it that were getting a little bit older, and I decided I was going to sacrifice them in the interest of showing you just what happens when you abandon a dead colony for too long and let wax moths take hold. So let's just go in here and gross ourselves out. Oh, there you go. So here we've got all of these wax moths, pupae and larvae that are, that are getting ready. There's a few of them crawling around and you can see that they've just made an absolute mess of this. You've got all of this silk that they've spun around themselves to keep themselves safe from bees. Of course, there's no more bees in this colony. Uh, and then all these little brown specks, those are all little bits of frass, little bits of, of wax moth poop that they've been creating as they've been growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. So let's get in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna break off the uh, the layer of silk that's keeping this inner cover on top of this nuke box, and we can actually go in and just see some of the devastation that they've caused down here on some of these frames. So there won't be much burr comb holding them together because there's not much wax left. And see, every everywhere I wedge, I'm finding wax moths. So I'm, I'm squeezing wax moth guts out as I go. It's a little hard to do one-handed, so forgive my poor hive tool technique, but let's get in here and just see what our, our nice drawn frames look like now. There you go. So this was, as I said, not a beautiful frame of, of wax. It was, it was getting old and it was a little bit crummy and there was a lot of drone comb. So I was thinking it was time to retire it anyway, which is why I did this. But if you'll notice, as I peeled that up, this whole sort of screen of, uh, of silk that the wax moths had produced while they were eating all of this comb, they, uh, th that's been left behind. So if I lift this one out, maybe I can get the next frame over and we'll, we'll get to see a little bit of the damage. So wax moths are, are not really a, a major problem for a healthy colony. A healthy colony of bees, there we go. So uh, you can see just some of the, the crazy webbing that they'll produce over the course of a, a major infestation. Um, wax moths aren't going to kill a healthy colony most of the time. Wax moths are really nature's cleanup crew. So what they're doing is they're coming down into these colonies that have been, uh, you know, abandoned by the bees. The bees have died. They've gone queenless and then sort of sp sputtered out over the course of the season. Uh, maybe they've been killed by varroa or viruses or something else. And the wax moths basically just take over. In nature, when bees occupy a tree, if the colony dies, the wax moths are the ones that go in there and clean it out so that the tree is, is more or less empty for the next colony of bees to move into. So they're, they're not something that's going to kill your colony for the most part, but if something else kills your bees, if you're not staying up on, on your inspections, it's entirely possible that you're going to come through and find that it, it looks like the wax moths have caused devastation, when in reality it was something else and they've just taken advantage of it. That being said, they're nobody's friends, and if you let them breed in one of your colonies, now you're going to have more moths trying to sneak into the colonies next door. And you can see right here, since I opened this, there goes a wax moth over the edge, trying to get down and uh, find somewhere to pupate so it'll be able to fly out as a moth and cause trouble. So uh, I don't have any chickens right now, but I've got a neighbor who does, so I'm going to go see if his chickens would like a, a nice, healthy, nutritious meal as uh, we all get ourselves cleaned up and get our apiaries ready for winter. Bye-bye.